Man basic play by Tipper Town. The origin of the dance hall. Man called Ewal Shata, Peter Larry, and Raffle. First dance hall ever at the Student Union. That's where we started. Superstar something. Today is February 9th. And it is known as Reggae Month. Reggae music was born out of Bakawal in the early 1960s. If we do not know where we are coming from, then certainly we won't know where we are going. I, Jaboni, was a member of the West Kingston Drum Crack Band, better known today as Tivoli Garden Marching Band. And I was also a back boy at Chocomo Lawn. And as such, this is my recollection of the days of Chocomo Lawn. I do not recall seeing any of the following people at Chocomo Lawn. Minister of Culture, Olivia Babsy Grange. Anyone from the University of the West Indies today. Namely, Jerry Smalls, Alan Hope, better known as Muta Baruka, Miguel Lon, better known as Bongo Miguel, Uri, better known as Daddy Roy, Big Youth, better known as Jayut, Dennis Al Capone, Bonnie Lee, better known as Striker, King Jammies, King Tobies, Jawais, the Whale Charles brother, better known as Channel One, Mikey Neto, Nito, Fat Man, Las Crawford, Maxine Stowe, Rupert Walters, Patrick McCarthy, Herbie Nelson Jr., Will Rattigan, Jack Scarpio, and any artist from Waterhouse, better known as Firehouse. If anyone lists here at an event at Chocomolan, feel free to correct me in my comment and set the record straight. But as I said, I do not recall seeing any of these people that I have named. This month also happened to be my birthday. I will be 70 years this month. Meaning that I say that to say this, I am older than reggae music. Now, next, I would like to point out, we are now, that we are now living in a time when people are making it up stories and calling it history as they go along. And no one is checking their facts. Take, for example, the Bob Marley story or the movie. Bob was supposed to be a Rasta man. And from what I'm hearing, no one play Martin Maplana, who is my father, in the movie. And all throughout Bob Marley musical life, he was always surrounded by rude boys, gangsters. As a matter of fact, when he got shot in 1976, it was my team that the government at the time sent to protect Bob and bring him to the Smile Jamaica concert at Eo Circle. 
rude boy gangster, the rude boy gangster side of Bob Marley life has now disappeared. And he's now present as a Valentine story. Again, please keep your comment cultural and leave politics out of it. Remember that it is reggae month. Trenchstone has used Bob Marley to hijack the reggae culture. But it all started at Chocomolan, as I will establish in this broadcast. Before I establish that, I would also like to pay tribute to King Tobias. And I would like to pay to play a tribute with Maxine Stowe, Fatman, and others. I'm going to play this debate to establish how people just make up history as they go along. So here we go. Ooh. Is a influential individual in the local music industry, regular music industry. We also have Fatman. Fatman was trained by King Tobias. I said trained because he learned. He was <laughs> understood it to King Tobias, <laughs> and I don't want to take anything from Fatman, but I have to recognize the role of King Tobias. Both of them are going to lead us into this discussion about King Tubby's, his life and work. And with me, I have Las Crawford, Patrick McCarthy, Rupert Walters, Herb Nelson, and we're waiting for John Orton and Will Radigan to join us. I hope the audience, the listeners, will also join in this discussion. Right? So... Without further ado, I would say, Maxine, the floor is yours. Well, first, yes, greetings um, to everyone on the platform. Yeah, John. And, um, All right, okay, cool. Yes, yeah, we got me glad. Cool. Right. So, you know, last week, as we were closing off the um, reasoning, we acknowledged that that was the um, earth strong of um, King Tubby's. And so generally, as we focus in on the development of Waterhouse and the music, um, the music culture and how it can be more integrated into um, development, it, um, promoted that we should honor um, King Tubby's uh, role and life and in order to, you know, give even further depth to why um, Waterhouse is such an important um, space in the history of the Jamaican music industry. And should serve as an important space in the future um, of the industry. So we are looking forward to um, reasoning with our special guest, uh, Fatman, um, based on his um, first person role um, with King Tubby's, to which I can add um, a more uh, general role um, through my relationship in the industry, but specifically with um, Sugar Miner, which is where I interfaced um, with Tubby's through his, you know, his engagement. Um, I learned obviously more um, in depth 
about King Tubby's as I myself began to focus on the um, the electronic, the technological side of the development of the music industry, where I, you know, began. Let me stop there for a minute. Maxine Store. I have just heard about this woman not too long ago. And uh, as you can hear just now, she said, Sugar Mine Act is who bring her to know King Tobbies. So that tell you right away that she's very, she's a baby in this history that she's trying to portray. Because Sugar Minot is a baby. Sugar Minot came out as Tudor one. Therefore, what these people are trying to say is just fall right down because she is part of the main speaker, Maxine Stowe, and they are trying to establish that dub was started by King Tobbies. And that is far from the truth. King Tobbies never start dub business in Jamaica. Dub business is true the one and Jew, and Jew creed business. I mean, most such Sugar mine I tap tune them. It's true the one him go make them pan true the one dub plate. So that only go to show. But I must add a next thing that Tobby's was never the dub master. The dub Tobby's only play Tobby's dub. And Tobby's never produce enough music or enough classical music to have classical dub. Tobby's not have dub like Mr. Dad. It's just simple. Tobby's not have dub like Duke Weed. But we are going to make them go on and tell their version while I tell the facts. To dive deeply into how um, the engineers and the the, um, the electronics uh, uh, professionals, the major impact that they had, that they had, have, and will have in the um, development of the industry, even so much as the cultural aspects that you know we focus on, you know, the Rastafari, the Nyabingi, you know, the, the, the R and B and all of those influences. But the channel which they come through and really in my research, the very um sounds that we speak of, they really come forward to these um professionals. Yes again. I noticed Maxine Stowe just drop Rastafari right on Tobbies. And, you know, they just make it up as they go along. Because how did Rastafari right drop in a Tobbies studio? How? Because there's no established, there's no groundwork. And next thing that I noticed that these people is talking, they just talking Tobbies now. And because they're whole people, they are misleading the youth because they are not putting a time on the Tubby's error. But you will see as they go along that there's no timing in terms of when Tubby's start to make music, when Tubby's, Tubby's lifespan in music was very short. But again, like I said, this will play out in their story and i look forward to um hearing from fat man 
and you know getting more information on the day-to-day -day seeing that so many um producers and engineers um came out of um king toby's uh university <laughs> um basically so um so i pass it over now to fat man to you know tell us about his experience and then you know we can uh speak on the wider um influences that i may also have been engaged in um throughout and why uh, this work is the foundation for some projects that uh, Michael and the Waterhouse crew are pursuing now on the ground um, in Waterhouse. So over to you, Fatman. Ah, honestly, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> At the beginning. <laughs> no, because my view is that January 28th, or 28th, King Tommy's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. That should have been a historic day. Yeah. I don't, I um, don't you know, I never did a check still, but I don't see nothing in, in, a day, in a day print media or nothing on the radio stations to say, yes, this was a historic day, the birth of a, a great man. Yes. Me you think the media should have used even a little bit in it piece of the day there to show Jamaica who that great man was. It never happened. Well not to my knowledge. No, it didn't happen. Um I, I, I don't I, I'll punctuate that with the fact that January twenty sixth is the birth date of Clement Sir Cox and Dodd. And outside of my advocacy and social media output um and in the light of the great celebration and investment in dennis brown and um, bob marley's birthday uh it is a very you know and the fact that they're in the halo this is a week before this is the week where they launch reggae month and all of that that it is significant what fatman is saying and this was re one of the reasons why this program is um is important and why the project and why Waterhouse um, has to step up to the um, advocacy because no one is going to do it. You know, that's one thing I've learned, um, especially in these type of national platforms. Unless there's a lobbyist and an advocate um, to step forward, these things will never get the, um, the recognition that they need. So this is an important program and an important conversation, Fatman. Um, possibly we have to lobby for January as a month if, if, if they don't seek to include um, these pioneers um, that are so essential to what they intend or are, are accepting to promote in February, then, you know, we just have to seize the moment and, you know, put forward our own month in January to celebrate the, the, their um, foundation um, investment to make February occur. Well, if I did, if I did join this um, Maxine, yeah, Max, Maxine Fatman, just a, just, a little, just a little point. I think it is significant also to understand that our brother, the king was murdered on the 6th of February. The exact day that both Dennis and Bob have been celebrating. So from the point of view of the and, and, when, and Bonnie Rogues, when he Bonnie was Rogues. born, let me, let me just finish there. From the point of view of the 28th when he was born, it's roughly about 9 to 10 days articulating to the calendar year that he was murdered so it's both the commencement in life and the fact that we want to remember him the kind was killed on the six. I'll, I'll just pause here. 
You know, never take a note of that. <laughs> that, that is important. So you see, if if, if we in the island, Miss, Miss, Miss Sarah, we wasn't lobbying from before, so we could have bring it to the media before now, because you see, everything passed and gone. So anything we have to know, maybe it's for next year. Yes. But fat man, can you tell us who Tubbies was? Tell the audience who Tubbies. <laughs> Tubbies, Asburn yeah. Rodak, man. Asburn Rodak. I know me no know Tubbies bigger name, but Asburn Rodak, we know him as. That was a father we never knew my mother. Tubbies was my father we never knew my mother. Because the father figure we me never have, Tubbies was the man there. When Tubbies come in at the time, driving the little cartina, going to have a Santa Carpenter shirt, Tubbies sent call me. And the reasoning when me and Tubbies put on at the time, when P go in the studio, and them reason you didn't expect from my old man, we never get that. We get that from Tubbies. So I respect the man down to the ground where he walk, man. The man there show me the ropes of life. Who never knew Tubbies? No, said Tubbies. All right. Who? Tubbies, the man is not going away. Publicly. Who said Tubbies' business? I mean, said. Remember one time we go down at Tough Gun, some record a press him down there. And the client, they were waiting for it so long. And every time Tubbies sent me down there, you know, say, the mama will pass him a press so he couldn't get the delivery in time. So Tubbies had to go down there himself to find out why I hold it up because... Yes, just to let you know, um, that is Fatman speaking and his first point of reference is that he and Tubbies went down to Tough Gang. So that tell you again that Fatman is BB to this conversation. If it's the first, the first mention I'm going to mention is Tough Gang. When Tough Gang is after Bob Marley, there was no, is after Bob Marley death, we have Tough Gang. So there was no Tough Gang prior to Bob Marley death. Yeah. So therefore, put it this way. When I was in Jamaica, there was no Tough Gang. Simple as that. There was no Tough Gang. Simple. So therefore, it only goes to show now, and he is the main speaker, and he is the one that is schooling all these other people and the platform of Tubbies. So it's a bunch of Johnny come lately trying to hijack history and make writing them own history. So this is what reggae music culture have become. It have become nowhere. Every little car and every little set of people just get up and start right for them history and telling it now to the youths them as the culture. Now, saying this, I'm not trying to take anything from Tubbies because Tubbies was a good sound. And Tubbies was a good engineer. But to say that he start dub business, this is where I'm having the serious problem. And I will just let them talk and then I will just kick that away because that is not a fact. As the client, I'm a, a ball feet, I will can, we can get to ship it. And when Tubbies go down there and go into the office and talk, and by the time, Boss man go down at the press and say, Boss, you want to make Tubbies come to me in person. Everybody run go to the door for go see this man. But then Tubbies gone already can leave me to take care of the business. So everybody did want to see that man, to know that man. But it's like, he's a man where he's not really in the public eyes. All that business and me himself go take care of right? it. So it's, it's like when Tubby's eye closed now, everybody start to 
this man from the forefront. It shouldn't be so. Because from all my years know them, we never see a media was coming on the committee for trying to act. Mm. Me never remember seeing that. But, but fat man, I don't want to interrupt you, but just to um highlight a point you just made, right? I mean, it is it is so profound a point you made about him not being more of a public person because that's kind of the topics we know, even from the water outside, right? <laughs> everybody know Tubbies. Not everybody even know where he look like. Exactly. Right? And 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 this this was this was this was the dynamic thing about Tubbies that he, he had such an impact, yet we never really feel his presence in terms of you know the physical man. But 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 in terms of his impact, that's how we that's how we really experience him. So so this is this is what I want you to really bring out now in terms of what is Toby's really as a person behind the scene. Toby's is a teacher. I don't know if we can talk to any other student, but we can talk to me because when him learn when we learn from him. Me still, I use it up to today. Today, we on a mixing board. The tub is come out in a me. Can we just come from on a digital mixing board? I me I tell you, like the tub is come out in a me today. So it was a teacher. The first time me when me I cut dog on a tub is, and the first time an eagle broke. Me feel like I do a student that don't buy me. Because all the man them make it sound like Tommy's about to take off my head now when he come and realize he needs to go. And like, like Jackson, he call everybody Jackson. If he can't remember, he leave him call you Jackson. When he drive in, he say, come here Jackson. And he show me a dog where how it look when he needs to go. Or, or one look when the needle don't drop. And the next time you are cut, from you see the groove look down where you the needle drop. And up to today, me can if me go anywhere over a cut and we can show you if the needle drop, if it if 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 the if it a cut and not true not true not true now go on it, or it a cut blank, we can show you that or Tobis teach me. We know the leading group, the lead group, this end spiral and all and things like what look on the record, come is teach me them today. Thomas was a teacher. Because when 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 he's sitting in high school, I was sitting around, around there with him, I was standing up with him. He might tell you what him what he's doing, what to expect when he do that, when he turn this button, what 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 what's supposed to happen. So and like other man where just stand up and watch him, you have to watch and learn. He might tell you what he might do and tell you the effect what him expect to accomplish when him do it. So him basically a teacher the thing. So he's a teacher. And as me say, when people in the studio, me and him and I'm officer, we are the father to son. So all the way, me never get from my old man as I youth growing up. We get all of that from Tubbies. Any business transaction for the road, I meet Tubbies then. I'm going to tell you, for sure you. Me never go there as an engineer, no. me go there as a technician. I force me, force my way in my studio. Can give me a circuit for build? I'm a build the circuit and it work good. So me decide, say, boy, I know, sir. We are going to manipulate the circuit. I said, we manipulate the circuit and come split it in, in the CPF by our gash. And it work good before me, before him coming up. But me just rearrange it now because me say, no, sir. And I have some new one there. Can we do, we do the one at the front part? I, I, I do I do repairs. I buy that. Tubbies come and plug it in. Oh, what kind of idiot? You say, go on, I stood up. You say, yeah, but that is some new one. Go. And then he just come in there. Only thing short of it in a studio is a blackboard and chart. Because the man show it down to the T. When we have a channel, one go to live session. Tubbies not go. And me him say, I'm going to take care of the business for you. But all our live sessions, they're going to channel one with it. Slayer, light box, and the whole works. Everything they will channel one. And they will care about the theme studio from the other recording. But trust me, 
that man female shouldn't just see a dress up as some little man nowhere not not do half the amount of contribution to this industry where companies do for them they make so much of the time that is business yeah. it's unfair and I, 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 I the industry has it because no no not doing that industry to remember the, the man great works if you not talk to elder people them no 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 for the young people tell them what topics on the man say when you so so are we you know i've got try bring back the man memory to the forefront so everybody knows who was this man yes um i think i've heard enough and i don't think that I want to play any more of that because it no really make no sense. From what Fatman just said, so many people name a call nowadays. We not do after work where Tobies do, and it's not fair. So me I go pick it up right there so now because you see. It's reggae month and we're going to talk reggae history now. Yeah, music history we're talk now. And I want you to put your political feelings aside and listen to me now and listen to me carefully. As Fat Man just said, so many people today is hijacking our history and at put themselves in a history and a man that as far as I'm concerned single and lay build this culture now I I give this man that credit me know the first thing I'm going to go ball out is politics but I have so no to put on a political feelings aside and hear me out now because it's young people me I talk to now me not talk to old people eh? forget where them I come from in 1961 Edward Siago bought a property at Wellington Street and Chone Plain West Kingston back a while and established the Chocomo land he then formed several band. Hear that? Several band. In a Chocomo land, you have a Calypso band. You have a Roomba band. You have a drum crap band. That I was a member of that drum crap band. And you have a band called the Vixray Pop Band that played at Chocomo land. It should be note that Miss Jamaica in 1964, Marie Mitzi Constantine Siago was discovered in Chocomo land as a rumba dancer and she later married Siago. Part of the history where nobody not talk about. Nobody not talk about that Mitzi Constantine was also a rumba dancer. When you see her biography, them say she was a good dancer. But let me tell you what kind of dancer she was. I, Jaboni, now I tell you, she was a rumba dancer. Me watch her and a brother named Wally used to dance and go down and go under the fire pan stick. Me used to watch that in a Chocomo land. Like me say, I was a back boy in Chocomo land. Now, the veteran Winston Riley of the Riley brothers had a big break when he becomes a member of that, the Vitzray band, as a singer and a bass player. With Slim Smith as the drum, the drummer. Frederick White, Franklin White, and Light Chalmers 
and the Richard Badders, like Chalmers was the engineer at the time. Jimmy Cliff, Prince Buster, Toots Ebert, all got their start through Edward C. R. Govitzwai Band, which gave birth to a group called the Techniques. Jimmy Riley and the rest of them. The Riley brothers, Jimmy Riley, Chalmers, Slim Summit, um, Slim Summit, the whole of them. And them are the techniques and the units. A nine-year-old boy, so small in stature, he had to stand on a crate, began his singing career at Chocomolan. His name was Dennis Brown, the dead of the first day when Dennis Brown had taken the mic. Errol Dunkley, Delroy Wilson, Alton Ellis, Marcia Griffiths, Stranger Colt. So now, when I want to do anything I have issue with now, when I say, when I can ask Errol Dunkley, Marcia Griffiths, Stranger Colt, Ken Boat, Count Prince Miller is not here. Desmond Decker is not here. All nurture their singing career at Chocomolan. The legendary Millie Smart performed My Boy Lollipop at Chocomolan to us. Delroy Wilson, a 13 year old, began his career as well as others from neighboring Trenchtown. All went over to Chocomolan. To enjoy the legacy of Mr. Siago. Among them was a youth called Joe Eggs, yeah, who was later called the godfather of reggae, yeah. To elevate the talent of these youths, poor but talented, Mr. Siago created a recording company called West Indies Record Limited. It was the most successful studio in the Caribbean. He later sold it to Byron Lee, who changed the name to Dynamic Sound. Edward Siago, who by then became an agent of Columbo Record, was the first to introduce vinyl to press record in Jamaica. Now, what you have to understand, at the, in the 60s, the whole of Motown Records was pressed in Jamaica down a federal because of cheap labor. This enabled our local studio station to begin playing our own Jamaica music frequently for the first time. The first hit and vinyl produced by Edward Siago was Oh, oh Nanny, Nanny O, oh, by Du, Joe Higgs, and Y. Wilson. This song sold 50 copies. Mr. Siago opened the door for Joe Higgs, who went back to Trenchtown and began teaching and nurturing other youths by our friends singing lesson in his backyard. Two of these youngsters were a 16-year-old called Bob Marley and Bonnie Whalers. It was during these session lesson they met Peter Touch and later they become the Whalers who produced song like Sima Dong. Such was the repetition and prestige of the place that anybody who was anybody who played at the Chocomolan. One of these anybody was Byron Lee and the Dragoneers, who was later invited to Chocomolan by Edward Siago to learn about the ska. Until then, like most other band on the island, Lee and his group were playing in the American rhythm and blues style that were popular uptown but at Chocomolan, the scene was ska, and Siago encouraged his friend to come for a listen to help spread the, this new sound. 
it was Siago who later in 1963 after becoming the culture minister decided to make Skia official as also launched Jamaica Festival now. He asked Byron Lee to write a song to launch an official Jamaica music. Lee produced Skia 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 Jamaica Skia. Edward Siago took it a notch further. He established the music internationally by arranging for Peter Touch, Toots and the Maytel, Jimmy Cliff and others to perform at the music festival in New York in 1964. The open up the way for Bob Marley, Jimmy Cliff and many others to continue the legacy of Edward Siago to introduce Jamaica music worldwide. In England, it was called Blue Beat. Sky later evolved into Rocksteady when Hope Dan Lewis was recording. The beat was too fast for the line he was doing and asked the musician to take it easy, slow it down a bit. He later recorded the song with that title. Rocksteady was short lived and in two years it was replaced by another beat. Carl Reggae. Thanks to legends like Jimmy Cliff, Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, and many other great division of the great Edward Siago that began at Chocomola and was realized. Now, what is people saying is Toby's start the dog business? But as I already said, there was sound like Sir George, Tipper Tone Company scene, and Jawais, as far as I am concerned, he had the biggest collection of dub because Jawives collect dub from Cox and Dad, Joe Creed, Joe Gibbs, Yabby U, Miss Pattinger, Randy's, Channel One, Rockers International, Lee Scratch Perry, so when it comes to dub business, if you want to verify who actually started the dub business, then we have to speak to people like the wise. Because like I said, you can't take certain, even though I never said the wise, I took a more land. I have watched the wise daily work and correct, collect dub. The amount to name it simple, every time Tipper Tone clash with Jawais, with, with, with Tubby's, Tubby's take a flagging. I have never been to no dance with Tubby's and Tipper Tone where Tubby's was the champion. Tubby's heavier than Tipper Tone, but when it come to the roundness and dub, Tubbies can never test Tipper Tone, VJ, or Emperor Fate, or Arrows, or Sir Patrick. Tubbies can test them someday because Tubbies don't go play Tubbies. So, anyone know different? Come and tell me different in my comment. Like I said again, I would like you to keep it. Musical.